Let's take a look at this problem. We are given real numbers x and y such that the sum, the sum of squares, and the sum of cubes are all equal to one single number. Find all possible values of that single number. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications. For convenience, I'm going to call that single value a. Then I can say that x plus y, sum of squares, sum of cubes are all equal to a. Then we can try to solve this system with three equations and three unknowns. So on one hand, I can square the first equation and say x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals a squared. So I can express xy in terms of a, which is a squared minus a, because these things have some equal to a, and then we have the difference. So that's xy from equations 1 and 2. Now for equations 2 and 3, I can obtain another version of xy in terms of a. So from equation 3, I have x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared equal to a. And on one hand, x plus y equal to a. Then we have x squared plus y squared, and that's a as well minus x a squared minus a all divided by 2 and the product equals a. So we simplify and we have a times 3a minus a squared all divided by 2 equals to a. Now at this point either we have a equals 0 or we have the things inside the bracket to be equal to 1. This fraction 3a minus a squared all divided by 2 equals to 1. Then we can solve for the quadratic equation of a. We have a squared minus 3a plus 2 equals 0. That means a equals to either 1 or 2. Now we've obtained three possible cases for the value of a, and that's 0, 1, or 2. Now, to check whether they are valid solutions, the best way would be to just solve for x and y. If a equals 0, then I can say um, all those three expressions equals to 0. So then x equals minus y, and x squared equals y squared. And they are both equal to 0. So therefore, the only possible case would be x and y to be both equal to 0. Because we have a valid solution for x and y, so a equals 0 is a possible solution for a. If a equals 1, then x plus y, x squared plus y squared equal to 1. Sum of cubes also equal to 1. Then at this point, xy as a squared minus a all divided by 2 equals to 0. So that means either 1 of x or y has to be 0 and the sum is 1. So therefore, there can be either 0, 1 or 1, 0. Again, that means a equals 1 is valid. And finally, when a equals to 2, then xy equals to 2 squared minus 2 all divided by 2 is 1. Now notice that x squared plus y squared is 2 if, they, if the sum is minus by, uh, subtracted by 2sy, then this expression equals 0 but that's x minus y all squared. So that means x minus y has to be 0, and that means x equals y, and the sum equals to 2, so therefore x, y can only be both equal to 1. Again, that means a equals 2 is a valid solution. So altogether, a can be either 0, 1, or 2. This is the final answer. Please feel free to share ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.